Hello and welcome back to Clownfish TV. It's me, Geeky Sparkles. And today we're going to talk about an interesting development with the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser at Walt Disney World. Last night, I didn't see it. I, I didn't see it till late, so we didn't cover it last night. But WDW News Today put an article up yesterday talking about how there have been new dates released. The calendar has been released from October to December with something we've been waiting to see. Um, we were also waiting to see if there are going to be some deals. And uh, the answer seems to be at this point, no deals, but they did cut out one of the voyages per week, except for a couple of weeks where they said they're holidays. Okay. So they are now going back to what they started doing in the summer where they're taking that, that middle row out on the bookings and making it just uh, weekends for the most part um, that are the bookings for Galactic Star Cruiser. Cause we can't just like lower the price. That would make way too much sense. Instead, we gotta keep the price high, but only make it two voyages a week instead of three. So before we get into it any further, please like, and subscribe. I think we're at 297,000. I did not check today. Yay. We're so close to 300,000. I'm very excited. Um, I'm not going to keep you on that spiel any longer. So let's look at this. So WW News Today had reported this yesterday, last night, and I didn't see it until probably closer to midnight. But they said that now they're doing two nights a week. Um, they, we know they've tried giving out uh, deals to people from DVC. We know they were giving ex extensive deals to cast members. Their deal in quotes for people that are normal people uh, was just that, hey, if you stay here and pay full price, you, you get a, a little bit knocked off of the deluxe hotels, which are already ridiculously expensive and not worth it for many, many people. We'll knock a couple hundred bucks off that. And that's their deal. You spend more money and then we'll give you a little bit off which was a non-deal. That was a stupid deal. And I don't know who thought of that, but they deserve to slap themselves because that was dumb and people weren't falling for it, obviously. So today I looked at the calendar. Now this was um, in July when they started, you can see they started taking out, they canceled the dates. Now those dates they had canceled, they had turned around and offered the people that booked those dates like 50% off if you reschedule for another date. So those people locked out and got it for half price. Again, I want to remind you, these cruises run from like $4,800 to $6,000 starting price, depending on how many people are in your party. And if you have more than like one child in your party, that they're going to charge you more. You go to different kinds of room that's not like the, the one is as cramped, you get charged more. There's a lot of upcharges. And people are just like, you know, as we said would happen, as many people said would happen, it's a LARPing experience. You already limited your audience right there with being a LARPing experience. Because a lot of people just don't feel comfortable. Then you limited your audience yet again because you made it Disney Star Wars. I mean, I get why they made it Disney Star Wars, but you made it Disney Star Wars and that limits it because a lot of people, a lot more people will probably come for classic Star Wars because it has more fans than the new Star Wars does. But Disney just keeps doubling down on stupidity the whole way around with that one. So, you know, now they're talking they might put, bring Ray back for more movies because that makes sense. Um, Probably because The Force Awakens was the one that did really, really, really well. And the takeaway from P from Disney is they want more of our Star Wars when the takeaway actually was people who were fans of the original came because they wanted to see Han, Luke, and Leia together. And that didn't happen, which was colossally stupid. And now there's a new rumor that they might be doing a show um, or like little shorts um, or short movies or something on Disney+. Plus, and they're going to use CGI to, to de-age Han and Luke and then like add Leia in and make them younger so that we're going to have adventures of them, you know, in the past, which is what they should have done in the first place is have them together. Even if it was, you know, as they're older, people wanted them together. They wanted, even if you pass the torch to the next generation, you wanted it properly passed. They didn't even properly pass it. They just like put them there for nostalgia berries, remember berries, and then got rid of Han, you never saw Luke until the very end. And then we don't all know what they did to Luke. And then by the next movie, you, you, the characters people liked from the first movie, you ruined to for new characters that you made in the second movie. It, the whole thing was a complete train wreck of epic proportions. So yeah, let's, let's, let's double down on that. That makes total sense. Nothing possibly could go wrong. So when we move on here into um, October, starting in October, you can really see it. October, November, December. 
there are only, um, for the most part, two cruises a week. One starting like Friday, one's Friday and Saturday, one's Sunday and Monday. So they're trying to make sure they get in those weekends. Um, they can also charge more if they go weekends. Probably it's probably some some stupid reason they're doing it. And uh, except for holidays, like you know, they have Thanksgiving time. They add, um, even though it doesn't leave on Thanksgiving, it leaves the next day. I don't know. But then you could spend Thanksgiving at Disney and pay a bunch of money to be in their hotels. It's probably what they're thinking. Then here it does go over Christmas. Um, that'll probably sell out because people want to do, if they would offer a life day or something. Um, I keep I keep saying that if they would offer like some kind of special experience for the holidays, the people that have done this already and it was one and done for them. Because for most people, it was going to be one and done. And that's what happened. It was front loaded and then, then it just fell off a cliff. I mean, if only people had seen that coming. Um if they would offer some kind of Halloween experience, um, they did it with like Legos, you know, they did the, the, the Halloween type short. And then you have, um, we do something with the Sith and then they have December and November and December, you, they could offer some kind of life day experience and it would be something new. Of course, they'll charge more for it probably, but if they kept the price the same and offered that as an add on or like something that was happening anyway, people would probably come. But the fact they're canceling all those dates, I doubt they're going to do that. So, um, this all starts in October, and I kind of figured people would have opinions on this, and here are some of the opinions. Now, this is on Twitter, so, you know, it's Twitter. Um, and I went to WW News Today on Twitter, and I looked for, at the comments on theirs, because they always have commenters, because unlike other uh, Disney accounts, where the numbers seem to be really high on the followers, the engagement is really low, which makes me question the actual engagement. WDW News Today, their engagement seems legit. Okay, so I always go to them because they actually seem like people follow them and listen and have comments. So when they posted this story, people immediately were like, why don't you just cut down the price? That's the question everybody wants to know. Why not just make it cheaper? Why why not just cut it down? If you're going to cut one of the voyages out anyway, cut the price down by a third, you know, on all the voyages. Because you're losing a third anyway with that middle one gone or half. Because if you're not, no one's booking the middle one, then you still stand to make about the same amount of money or maybe more if you cut the voyages down. Or I mean, the prices for the voyages down. So here we have a Gustavo cut down the price on the voyages. It's simple. Create one night trip and also part time versions. Yes, I agree. Um, do dinners and things that you come over there um, on the nights, on the days that you don't have complete voyages maybe offer like a one day thing where you get to go spend the day abo aboard the ship or you get to go have you know dinner aboard the ship or something like that. You 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 board from Batu and then you leave the planet to go to the ship. Kind of like that what they do at Epcot with Space uh, 220, you know, um, they could have done that. So they said, yeah, here's a uh, customer can go and have lunch or dinner and stay for a couple hours. Yes, thank you. Um, maybe you listen to us because we've said that many times. Um, agreed. Then this person... It's incredible how everyone says lower the price. It's not that easy. I am sure the operational costs are pretty huge. I'm sure you're probably right, Bill. If they lower the price, Disney will have to figure out how to cut operational costs, which could affect the product. Yes, Bill, but they've already done that. They've already cut down dinner services down to one once a, time, once a night because they didn't have enough people on the ship to, to go to two because they used to offer two. They've offered, you know different things to try to make it work and it's not working. So if the operational price is too high, which I doubt the operational price um, warranted the prices they were charging to begin with. Okay, let's argue, make the, the same argument. If the operational price is high and they need people to pay that much money on a, you know, on a, a ship that's not very full, why they charge that much money to begin with when they figured the ships would always be full? You know, the answer is because they thought they'd get a lot of money. They aren't. And now poor Disney... They probably can't meet operational costs. Well, it would be the same result if they cut the price as opposed to the number of voyages. I mean, you wouldn't have to pay people for one voyage. I get that. But you're going to lose cast members because we're, they're not going to have full-time work. So why are they going to stay? You know, I mean, they could probably go work part-time in, in the parks and work part-time on the ship. But that kind of sucks. I mean, I wouldn't want to do that because you, especially something that's so character intensive. I guess in some ways it might be a nice break. But if you break character for like a long time and go do something else, it might it might make it harder. I don't know. I'm not an actor. I can't say. They would rather go down in flames and lower their prices. How is this real? Because it's Disney. And it's all about money. 
Um, just lower the damn price. It's not that hard. Make the ship go through a wormhole on each voyage is slightly different. This way there's an element of surprise for everyone. And the richest of the rich can see a different show every time. Yeah, their argument for that is that you can choose different things when you're on the ship to change your experience. But yeah, it's still the same experience. The same stuff happens, but you might choose to be a bad guy this time. And but you already know what's going to happen. And the, the problem with doing what he says, going through wormhole and changing it every time, is you got a bunch of actors who are going to have to memorize and change up new things. I guess it's possible because if it's, it's going to be repetitive at some point, though, because you're going to have like five different shows people have to memorize as opposed to one. And you have to remember, these are, this is over the course of like 44 hours, like 24-7, they're on. So they'd have to memorize another show on top of that. I think it would be very, very difficult and, you know, it would still be repetitive because you can't have unlimited shows. You can't have unlimited reactions. You'd have to have some story elements that, that they're trained for and that they know what they're doing. Otherwise, it's going to be complete chaos and everybody's going to start ad-libbing and it's going to be, I mean, funny as hell for people on the ship, you know, if you're there just to watch it go down in flames, but not so much for the actors. Um, why not just build a pool and make it another deluxe level resort? That's a good question. They could. They have that, that, that you know, go in space and jiggle rocks in the atrium. Maybe they can put a pool in the atrium. Um, demand is down because price is too high for a two-night two night experience. No mystery there. They need to reimagine a more affordable experience. Yes, Jen. I agree with you. I agree with you a lot. Um, so this is, <laughs> okay, William. Okay, dude. Hearts, little heart, thumb hearts for you. Um so this is how the galactic star cruiser dies with thunderous meh. <laughs> William, you win. You win, William. That made me happy. Um, another person saying operation costs are so high. Disney would lower the cost at some point if they will, could. Um, they're going to have to change. Operational costs are so high that they cannot lower their price. They're going to have to change it to something else. Because I'm telling you right now, the, the one of the big deterrents for most people is the cost if it wasn't so much money you'd have a lot more families doing it a lot more people doing it they would even go for disney star wars okay because i'm not going to say there are no fans of disney star wars because that would be a lie the fandom pretty much got split in half another thing they could do is retheme it to mandalorian they could retheme it to classic star wars either one of those things i think would be a big enough draw to to bring people in but they refuse to do that too so their answer moving forward um, at this point in time is we're going to take one of the voyages out uh, in October, November, December. I think that's what they're kind of trying to do here in the summer when they started in July and um, August. And they haven't sp spattered around, but they were trying to take some out and see what happened. And it might be that, that by the bookings are seeing more interest in July. So they're thinking maybe take one out in the middle. I have no idea. I don't claim to know. Um, but they are making changes and they're doing everything they can to not lower the price. So we'll see how that goes for them. I don't think it's going to go very well. Anyway, thank you for listening. Sorry, I'm not as entertaining as Neon or with Neon, but he was up late and he's still in bed. So I will talk to you later. Bye.